Hello YouTube, Blumatona here, and welcome to part 38 of this Let's Play Rome Total War as the Broody Eye. Um, yeah, so where we left off last video is we're basically ready to end the turn. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, just while all this is kind of happening, sorry about the slight um, shorter videos, the last... Oh, that, that spy just died. Oh, and I'm getting a huge deck. Okay, anyway, the shorter videos, the last like two videos or so I, I don't know i just kind of did them while i was doing them late at night and well i had time to and i just uh i probably shouldn't have but anyway we're getting right back into it here big fight from the senate i mean if i win this fight i knock out the senate so it's huge and i have some really good infantry a bunch of praetorian cohorts um where's the city i believe reinforcements are going to be coming in from this direction, I would love to be able to take out as many units as I can, you know, from their other force. And let's go ahead and just, just uh, like satisfy my OCD nature here and organize these guys how I like them. So whenever you group something up, when you ungroup it, they go to the end. So that's what I was doing there. Okay, I was right. Here's the smaller force that I'm going to basically just try and blitz. Yeah, so we'll, I'm just going to set up my guys. Over here. And then we'll just kind of do a typical... We'll spread out my cavalry a lot to kind of guard the flanks. Because I don't want these guys slipping through the sides of the map. Oh, whoop, I set them up in the wrong spot. I just realized. These guys are set up in the wrong spot. I want them more about here. Yeah, because that's there's the bulk of the Roman force. Nice, so my archers are going to get some shots in here. And let's have my archers focused in on the Triarii. So the hope here is to take basically no casualties and take out this part of their force in the process of that. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and, and go after the general here. Yeah, you know what? I have... Let's just, just rush in. And then these two. These two. And just have this one like go there. That should be good. I'm gonna have my archers stop firing there. All right. Yeah, it looks like I got him pretty good. Definitely lost some men, but you know, you're not gonna just lose no one. I'm trying to route those spearmen. They're, they're doing damage to my calf. There we go. Alright, got one of the, got the general. 
All right, I think I might just set up a defense defensive position here in the corner. Like so. So let's get my archers over there. And then an infantry line like here. And with it, can I hit the cavalry behind them? Can I really not hit the cavalry here? We'll just have to do it this way, just kind of stack on top of each other. All right, so I wasn't, you know, obviously able to get a lot of uh, a lot of troops out of the way there, which is nice. Took some cavalry losses here, a lot, as you can see, because the triarii got up on my cavalry. Um, but everywhere else, I was pretty good. So I lost a little more cavalry than I would have probably hoped for. Than I would have hoped, but um, we're gonna bunch all of our archers over on that side together. Because it looks like the bulk of they kind of have a, a large force coming down this flank here. Yeah, we'll get them on fire. Will let them just fire into the masses. Hopefully, take out some guys in the process. Definitely taking out some guys in the process. Hard to miss when you're finding a group like this. All right, come on, archers. Wow, their line goes extends so far, but it's like a study and stuff. So not very good. Let's have them firing at the uh, the Roman armored general. All right, here go these guys with the Pila. Yeah, they should get some nice Pila throws in here before uh, yeah before the the uh, the lines hit. All these guys down here should be throwing their spears. Spears are coming back at them. Looks like the line's holding well so far. Yeah, my guys have just had them on guard mode, so they're just trying to kind of hold position. I mean, it's basically a bunch of Astati trying to charge against, you know, Praetorian cohorts. So not a, not a great situation for the Senate here. That should break them through, and let's go take out the Velites and stuff. And the Roman, actually, the Roman armored general. Come on, Roman cavalry, you got this. Ooh. All right, if my fire archers, my archers would like to, you know, not. Not fire at my own men, that would be great. Um, All 
right, the general's routing. There we go. Got him. You know what? Look, the infantry could really use the support over there. Yeah, come on, come come in and help these guys out. There we go. Once the cavalry hit all those Hastati and stuff, they just immediately ran out. Oh, come on. There we go. Heroic victory. Nice. Got a little bit of XP for some of my, uh, some of my units. I think all the, I think, uh, all the XP I gained was on cavalry units, but very nice nonetheless. Where is this fight? Oh, poor 55 men. Retreat. Gaul is really sending troops over. This is super frustrating. Thrace has some sizable armies. This guy's nice. Ha! Huh. Improves chances of getting elected to senatorial offices. Like, there's any chance of that. Okay, and where is he? Let's just see where he's located. Carthage. Okay, he can be a force leading us against the Scipii. Let's do this though. I really want to do this battle now that I uh, have a significant numbers advantage. This should be pretty a lot easier. I thought I was gonna have to siege, you know, like a full-on city. Um, but really, it's just gonna end up being a, a couple, you know, dam battle damage units. Really not many men left. I'm surprised they had a bunch of Hastati and stuff and they didn't have better infantry units. But look at look at these siege towers for Rome. Look how big they are. Oh, I forgot about these. They're just massive. Just enormous towers. Yeah, we'll just use the, the two. These guys can just drop them. Archers. Do whatever you can for the walls, I guess. Anyone on the walls? <laughs> yeah, this, this student's on the walls. Little light auxilia. All right, the walls are gonna be pretty easy to take. These massive siege towers coming up on them. Yeah, and the men climb them so fast too. Like once they run inside. There goes that one. And here these guys go. Like, watch how fast they go up. When they get to the back. Yeah, just nice. Maybe not actually, doesn't even look that quick. But we'll let it fill. Also, you can see they're totally protected at the top here. 
that it opens up and they run out. It's so, so cool. You can see how quick they're coming up to the top there. They come up in like bunches. Look at that. We'll let them get a throw in here on the spearmen. Yeah, once the whole unit's up here, they should throw down a little bit. We'll let them do that. There they go. See, are they out of range? No, not quite yet. The walls give me a lot of added range, that's for sure. Alright, well, where are these guys I need to fight? Oh, did my archers take them all out? Oh, no, they didn't. Alright. Just, uh, just come over here. So we'll take these towers on the way. That, you can see these towers do dev four arrow slots. They do devastating damage. If you don't, uh, if you don't take them. So we should take the gateway in a second here. Come on, guys. Let's go. Pretty easy. Yeah, you see the arrows are firing down now at these guys. And let's see if they got Pila and yeah they do. Look at that, all of them put their spears out. Let's have some fun with the swan in. Just because it's Rome. Set up the archers up here on the walls. All right. You know what? Let's have these guys actually climb back up. Man, let's have them take this tower over here. I might run my cavalry around this way. I don't want them getting a ton of damage. Like, in that process. How are the archers doing? There they come. You can see the damage that the towers can do to these guys. The arrows come in. Yeah, these guys aren't going to stand a chance here. The archers are filing in. Still coming. <laughs> a lot of archers to move up. Four full units. Looks like they should almost be all up there, though. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now they can do some serious damage here. Let's see. Look at this. Fire arrows. Just fire into the infantry. Oh, just decimate them. Come on, guys. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, gosh, it's so nice being able to use your archers in like the reverse direction a little bit here. 
let's take out the, let's finish off this unit. Well, where are these arrows going? Oh, whoa! Huge hit on the Principes there. Principes. Ooh, devastating. Come on, guys. There we go. Get him. Ooh. Just taking these units down to almost nothing. I mean, they, they have they don't really have anyone. Is that like an urban or something in the middle? Maybe. Look at, look at the angle these archers have. Just firing right down on them. Ooh. All right. Oh, the archers are firing. Ooh, archers have these. These archers have range. But none of them hit them, though. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make sure they don't just like fire in on my infantry here. I don't need them at this point, so no point in taking the friendly fire. There we go. Got the enemy general. <laughs> this little unit of Valites, they don't stand a chance. So everyone form up, get some uh, spear throws in here. Ooh, nice, got that guy. Everyone charge. And this is the last stand of the Senate. The last stand in Rome. Look at the Colosseum right there. Come on, push him back, push him back. Ooh, only, what is that? One, two, three, four, seven guys left? Eight guys left? Eight guys left. see who the last SPQR Roman standing is going to be. Three left. Two left. Is it going to be the this, this standard bearer? Or the other infantryman? It's going to be this last guy right here. And there he goes. And we cheer. Rome is ours, everybody. Rome is ours! Let's go. All right. Huge moments, huge wins, huge wins. Ooh, they hate me. Should we exterminate the populace of Rome? Yeah. Exterminate the populace of Rome. And faction destroyed, SPQR. Alright. They just, they didn't have a religious building? Uh, You know what we can do? We don't even have to do. We don't even have to do that. We can combine. Like so many guys here. Although I don't want to lose a unit entirely, so I got to make sure I don't do that. Yeah. That's that's the most I'll do. But that should. Oh, I can even retrain the 81s? Okay, well, that was all pointless then. Um, let's instruct the foundry.
Yeah. I like that. Oh, I got an epic battle there. That's nice. Site of a famous battle. Victor, House of the Broody Eye, Loser, SPQR. All right. Well, Julia and I are down to this province and a few islands. That, you know, we're making some really good pushes here. I'm a little bit pissed off, though, at this whole uh, Gaul thing. Like, it's just, it's just kind of frustrating. But not the end of the world. Uh, down here... In Carthage, anyone to retrain? Just some peasants, that's fine. No, actually, let's just take these troops. Any of these to be retrained? No. Okay, so in that case, we can form up with those troops there. Let's just move that entire army into the city. And retrain them. Great. And then this fleet. What do I want to do with this fleet? Anyone else to pick up? Yeah, I have to pick up these guys. But that that guy's doing that this turn. This fleet is doing that this turn. So we're gonna yeah we're gonna take guys all these fleet armies here to Africa. Well, so that's actually the quickest way to do it. Interesting. To go north and around. I guess, yeah, you travel, because you travel more when you're closer to land. I knew that part, but... Alright, anything, any armies for this fleet to ferry? Maybe not. Well, move them over, let's move this fleet over towards Italy. I'm sure I'll be picking up some force from over here at some point. Alright, what do I want to do? Is this assassin totally green? Yeah, he's not that good yet. Um, let's see if I can get him like a, a a boost with maybe a nice easy easy kill here to start. Yeah, we'll do a four. Nice. Okay, so that that boosted him up. As you can see, he now has four. Yeah, he gained uh, plus one to agent skill and another plus one. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and we'll follow the roads here. Just kind of get spies in their cities. Um, Yeah, because I don't yet, and my other spy died. Alright, that spy got better. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wow, Egypt's all the way over here. All, uh, I totally, totally didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah, Thapsus will be the next target, that's for sure. Nice. Hopefully, it'd be really nice if Spain took out the Julia here. What navies? It's all the Spanish navies. Alright, let's take out the Julia Navy. Seriously, I can't move it back to the port? Okay. Well, if Spain takes the city, then I only have to take Corallus and Eretium, which would be nice. I think this army should be good to go. Didn't I get... Oh, come on. I have to have generals around here. I thought I just got, like, a general. Somewhere up here. Alright, well. I guess all these guys can just move into that city, so. You take the general. Take, uh, one, two, three, four units of cavalry. Five, six, seven, eight, nine units of really nice infantry. Add a tenth with. Nope, we're gonna add ten of the really good infantry. We're gonna have ten infantry and archers. And we're gonna lay siege. We're gonna build up four siege towers, and we're gonna keep this assault of the Julii going as much as we can. Um, where do we wanna put this? Let's get. Get them out of there. Okay. Can they just siege Mediolanium already? I could go, like, relieve Mediolanium with this force. You know, go march north, but... We will see. Okay. This for this army. 
I don't really know. I just kind of have like a hodgepodge of extra generals and stuff there. All right, I think uh, let's do buildings in Italy really quick, and then I think that's pretty much good for, for Italy this turn. Um, I want to train the cavalry there, but in the meantime... Was how many turns is this? Five. All right. Building here. A lot to retrain again. Armor. Uh, hit the drone. Building. Building. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's been I think about thirty minutes into this video now, and I have literally just fought a couple battles. <laughs> But hey, it's the Siege of Rome, you know, it's a, it's a big fight. Um, Alright, so we got this fleet here with this army. Now, is this exactly who do we want to take over out of all these forces? Faction heir? I mean, he's not a good general. Like, like do we need him? Probably not. But let's prioritize the better troops to the better infantry. It's a definite. Uh, that guy. So what, what's his army up to now? Nine units, okay. 10, 11 with a good cav. Oh, let's include the archers. So we, we have four more spots. And what, we, what do we have left? We'll throw in the Roman cavalry. If, and then the three experienced units there. You guys go in the city. And now this full force will be moving down to Africa as well. Because this is going to be my main theater of war here against not only the, uh, the Scipii, but also Egypt, I, I recently realized. Um, Alright. So I'm happy with that. I guess we can give them baths, give them highways, and let's get my amazing assassin up here to do some amazing assassin things. That he can't get to. Okay, next turn he will do some amazing assassin things. Right, I don't have a general over here anymore. Anywhere. Oh, I want that cavalry so bad. Still pumping out some nice troops there. Sardis expanded, that's nice. Nicomedia. Farming's fine. Alright, now we get all the way in the east. Antioch. Do, uh... Big temple. Alright, we'll finish retraining up the two units of cavalry there. These guys need to be retrained. It's mercenaries and archers unit. No. Okay. Let's move another army south here from Antioch. Again, like, I guess I just kind of have all my generals in Italy, pretty much. It was definitely sort of poor planning on my part, general wise. You, you're 30. Let's go get you some command stars. So, you can start forming an army. Any good mercs? No, not really. Alright. So, we'll give you two units of good cavalry. The good infantry. The best units of that. Two best units of the other infantry. And all the archers you could ever want. And now we're gonna start training up some more infantry. And this army is gonna start making its way towards Damascus. Cool. You can go just hang way over there on this side of the map in that city. So you can see the city, the province is massive, but there's like nothing really in the area. Um, 
the seaboard is really where all the provinces are clustered. And that's what's valuable. Uh, you're not happy, Tarsus. What's wrong with you? Daily races. And you, it's cause, probably because you have like no troops in your city defending you. So we'll start training some up there. Um, you can go join his force. Alright, that's cool. I think we're pretty good to... Uh, no, we're not. We have assassins. Hello, rebel army. Bye-bye, assassin. <laughs> oh, man. Kind of like using them as spies a little bit. Alright. Let's end the turn there. Where is this fight? Oh, they're sallying forth. Ooh. Almost 2,000 men. Alright. Kind of like what the Senate did. Julia is doing its last stand here on the Italian peninsula. And if I take this province from the Julii, that means I will I will control all of Italy. So I'm on the defensive. As such, you know what? This battlefield's pretty open. Anywhere kind of works. Let's just set up a nice long line here of infantry on fire at will and guard mode. I wish I had more archers, but I do only have the three. And we'll do a heavy cav with a Roman on one flank. And we're going to put my general with the two other Roman units on the other flank. Well, is this just Town Watch? God, you would have thought these other countries could have, like, developed into a study, it looks like. You know, could have produce troops like I did. I mean, once we went to war, I just started pumping out as many high... I don't think I had any Praetorian cohorts, maybe like one or two, prior to the war starting, and I just started pumping out troops through all my provinces. Now, I guess the Julii were pretty small for most of the game, because they had a lot of trouble with Gaul, like fighting uh, with them and expanding, and also because I, I went and cut them off once I had the opportunity. Um... But still, like, you would have thought they could have, you know, done better. I, I don't know. Like, I mean, to, to advance on me and attack me here with an army comprising of basically primarily Town Watch, it looks like, is just mind-boggling to me. Like, how, how, did this, how did they get to this point? Like, how did they not just produce some troops? I mean, they must have just been wrecked financially. That's really the only explanation. I think the peel are going to start being thrown pretty soon. There we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is do that and have these guys come in on them. Let's have my archers just kind of hold their fire here. And all this cavalry can go after a unit of 13 equites. I mean, come on. Oh, okay. All my cavalry is just going to be able to run through their army. Come on, look at this. It's just an onslaught. How are these guys doing? So they beat the cavalry there. These units can go back. And we'll just have them charge in on the archers.
Yeah, we're just going to kind of just chase them down with my cavalry here for a bit. Kill as many of them as we can. Alright. Let's just turn and set up for the other force. God, they routed so easy. Alright, well everyone's back in a nice position here. My archers should start unloading again. Is this... Well, at least they have two armored general units of pretty good size over here. And another one over here, it looks like. And Oh, that's legionary cav. And they're charging, I think? No, I thought they were. They just kind of picked up the pace slightly. Let's just get all these guys. I mean, I outmatch. Nope, don't want to do that. I outmatch like all of these units pretty much, so I can just do one on one charges, and I feel pretty confident in my cavalry and infantry's ability to win the engagements. Where's my infantry routing? Whoa, what's going on? Who routed them? Early legionary cohorts? Come on, like I don't, I don't match those guys. Jeez, these generals are like unbeatable. You gotta be kidding me. How did one general's unit route three units of my cavalry? I mean, you got that. You gotta be kidding me. And they kill my general. Like what these are like god level units, jeez. God, these units are like just like somehow those units of uh I don't know why these guys are glitching. Like I'm telling them to attack these guys. Well, my archers took some pretty heavy losses there. Alright, I got their general. Alright, tit for tat, I guess. God, I think the most ridiculous thing of that whole battle is one general's unit took out my general's unit and two other units of cavalry. That's just absurd to me.
I had no idea I had troops over here. Who were just like hanging. Still have a general's unit running around. And for some reason, my archers were like leading the pack there. I mean, I guess I was telling my archers to like to kind of do it, but still. They have one unit of early legionaries, just like way over there. It's crazy because like I'll still win this battle. But that was just so absurd. Go take out those dang archers already. Where are these guys? Oh, there's another unit of archers. Oh. Oh, in the woods? Oh, right there. I totally didn't see them. And my cavalry routed while charging them. Lovely. Alright, finally. God, that general's unit must have had some kind of experience or upgrades to it. Because that, they just wrecked me. Come on, guys. They're they're archers. Your cavalry. Catch up to them. There we go. God. Whew. I lost my general, though. That's really unfortunate. But his sacrifice means we we take the uh, the Julii city. So it was a worthy, worthy, worthy sacrifice. 20 year old good commander, yeah, sure, I'll take you. Alright, end of turn report. Yes, heroic death, I know. Okay. And where is he? Capua. Right? Yeah. Or just outside Capua, because Capua is full. Of course. I was praying he would just somehow be in the east, but I guess not. Well, I think that's a good um, a good place to finish. You know, it was a... Did he die? Yeah, he died. Okay. So, you know, nice nice length video, some really good battles, um, and, and a fresh turn to start the next one on. So I want to thank everyone for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode.